Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset, and this is City Skylines of Animalia, where we are taking what should be known as the Great Donkey Risk, in that I demolished all of my industry, well, a large section of my industry, and I am rebuilding it. Um, hopefully, in such a manner that won't cause utter devastation to my economy. So, these guys are complaining because they don't have any power. I'm still making a fair amount of money. So I should be able to afford at least to put in a power line over there. Do I have... I have plenty of power. So that slowly but surely, all these ore industry guys will... Really? Really, you are... Centimeters. Away from having the power you need. I'm going to have to put... Spend sixty dollars. I'm putting a power line in that tiny little gap. Yep, there we go. Just so to make sure they didn't vanish before somebody built in the respective area. So our population is no climbing again. It was dipped. Our cash flow is low, but is beginning to rebuild. Um, we were making a lot of industry. Off, um, I have no idea what those little bits are. I'm assuming it's a symbol for an unconnected road. But I don't see what with it being dark and all. What there might actually be there. Um, what? Yeah, I'm hoping they'll go away at some point. Are you... Building is empty, 21% full. You are... Almost entirely full of garbage. Let's just do a quick double check on our garbage capacity. Incineration status. Plenty of landfill capacity. Garbage production is that, incineration capacity is that. So we're under, but our landfill use is okay. I don't think we need, we can't really invest in another guy, one of those guys any anytime soon anyway. I'm suspecting when I start bringing in and filling in the rest of the other, these other roads, we should be better. Abandoned building? Yeah, I know. They, um... Apparently they devalue the rest of the area. But, um... Uh, might look at getting a mod for this, because it is a bit whack moly What's up with you? No more room! Empty. So, our entire garbage thing is now completely dependent on you down here. And you are 53% full. Okay. Um, looks like we might be spending some of our immediate cash on another garbage dump. Not that I've really got the space for it. I don't want to demolish those buildings. Those buildings are important. I'm enjoying those buildings being there. Fine. You... Suddenly be on the other side of the road. You. Suddenly be on the other side of the road. You. Suddenly be on the other side of the road. Do I still have enough money for a garbage dump? I do. Let's put two in, because I suspect we're probably going to need them. Power cable, power cable, power cable, power cable. Doesn't need to go quite that far across. Zoning, always, always lots of little gaps to fill in. We've got an interesting set of things. So these guys are returning. We've got trucks getting in and trucks getting out. Don't know if we've got any cargo things going along yet. You guys mostly, yes, a truck went in and a truck went out. So they are going in on that on the right direction. So we have got people booming around in this area. Now, one of the things we did look at previously, I just let this take along to get some cash and some money in, um, was that we did have a bus route <laughs> that went somewhere amongst all of this. That's what's complaining. It's the buses. There we go. Okay, so... That's a train line I've got selected, that's where I was going from. So, bus. 
let us drag that stop to there <laughs> and then go now he still is connecting into that station it's fine You're starting there. I want you to go your first stop there. And then if I click that, no. Right, okay, so now we just have those two, fine. I want you to go from there Goodbye line. So the dark blue line is no more. So that means we probably should have at least one or two empty stops along here. Let's see if we can't just tuck these guys in a little bit. So create a new line. Go from here to there. Then, there, 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 then, there, there, there. An awful lot of these stops are going to be empty for a while. I, uh, I do appreciate that, but there, there, there. That's a bridge where you can't stop there. There. And then. Close. So there we go. That's that one in. So let's cancel the bus routes. There are new buses. What if I line number 17? And you were. No shade of dark blue. So if I then go back to my bus route map, I now have a dark blue loot. It services that. Shiny. I wonder how the tourism stuff is going. Well, let's have a look. Another train station. Passengers served last week. 48. So people are actually using it. Oh, speaking of which, there's a bus. So that train came in. Passengers 21. So we all get people coming out of our train system. And then immediately going over and joining the bus network. Yes, we are connected. So there's the buses and the trucks merrily making their way around. It's the slightly smudgy orange line. 83% are travelling, 6 or 13. Not really normally. Is there anyone? There's a weightlifting gym gone in on the edge there. Not operating. Four jobs available. Looks like we do need some highly educated people. Let's see, do we have enough money for... How much do we need for university? 75,000. Okay. Because I think it might be time to actually stick a university in. I know the spot there. We've got a huge amount of space. We can certainly already get that nice big building in. Our population is right on the edge. Um, in terms of how much more growth we can get. I suspect putting in the university will give it an almost great big boost of um, improvement because we will, it will suddenly go, wow, that's a lot more space. Wow, look at all that lot coming out, pouring out and getting to our businesses. That's what we want to see. So that's that engaging and working. 
Uh, trains, ladies and gentlemen. Or oh, buses bootling back and forth. Hmm. I approve <laughs> all these guys making their wending their way back and forth. So, now we've got a hundred thou. I am going to stick in our university. Our nice big new campus. Try and avoid destroying it. So, whack. That actually affected the entirety of the town. So... Yes, there goes the dings. There is the dinging. The noise of the upgrading happening. So, okay, fair enough. I'm pretty happy with that. Is there a bus stop nearby? There must be a bus stop nearby this. There we go. Climbing the social ladder, apparently. I have no idea what that achievement is, but I basically suspect it's telling me that I've created the last amount of extra space. So... Hey, we've finally emptied this. I suspect by moving it into the other ones. Yes. Um, can I afford... Emptying finished. Yes. Um, I have industrial demand. I have a huge amount of residential demand. I think it's time we stuck another incinerator in because having the power is useful but you can now operate normally so I mostly apparently just moved the crap elsewhere I still have that, thank you yes I know you're slightly unhappy I reshuffled one of your bus routes but let's start talking about filling in some of this lot to meet our industrial demand so try and minimise the number of um, roads and junctions we've got is there a bus stop along here? Nope. So let's go straight line to this area for now. Let's go one. It's the same spot. There we go. Let's come out like that. And then I will come across. And then come a long one. And then I will scrub the road. Join you up there, come along, and not quite meet. Do exactly the same thing along here. Like so. So, we need water. Fortunately, our pattern is already established for us. So she did go to go. And not enough money. Give me more money. I desperately need the money. Like, while I'm waiting, I might as well zone this lot as it is. Grab from there. Don't want the that side of the road. Even our industrial demand. I suspect this lot will fill in pretty quickly. Happy days. Happy days. Not enough workers. That's because we have an insane amount of residential demand. Okay, I think what we will be doing next episode is doing an enormous amount of building. I was not immediately intending to add more residential into this area. I was thinking we could probably fill the rest of it in, but I think what with this lot becoming the donkey mines and the, the, the donkey foundries and the rest of it, we are going to be looking at putting in the residential district. So our commercial down is slowly creeping up. So what I think I might do, we've got three hexes along here. Let's make that six hexes of commercial. Um, quick pause, because we're doing some power line rerouting. Have you come up the center there, and then dart briefly left and right. So that's while we let these things tick along. Let us add. I don't remember if this was the right angle or not. I seem to remember they weren't the right, quite the right shape. Um, 
Oh, no, I don't know they work the right shape. So I want oh, something like actually we can do along here and try and improve our quality of this shopping district is we can quickly go with the stampy tool and make this all nicer roads. Now, the mining stuff all comes in at a fixed rating, so it really doesn't make much difference as to what quality the roads actually are. But this area of, resident, of industrial does actually matter. So what we can do is indeed upgrade these. As these are one way. Thankfully, it isn't screwing around with my one way system when I replace these because that would screw my bus routes up. So, yeah, that should make all of these guys just that little bit more happy. So, in the interim, we can grab that. And I believe what we were doing was coming directly south from here. Let me try to remember how I built these. I might have to go back and watch the other video and just try to work out how I actually got. Because that's one tick's worth away. So, coming out like that brings me to the centre line, which was that wide, and then I come out like that. There we go. Pretty roads, pretty roads, pretty roads. And then I just come out to. Yeah, that's it. Come out one tick, go across one, come out one tick, come across one, come out one tick, come across one. So yeah, that will make that all the primary commercial district, and then we're looking at seeing what kind of residential area we can fit in this gap. So I am going to do some road laying, and I'm going to spend some fun and dimes putting out the rest of this commercial district. Well, we've got a little bit more time. Hey, you get to watch, but spend a bit more time with me making odd, strange little shapes with my commercial districts. So that's that gone in there. You need to come out one more in each direction. Connect. 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 And then finally, connect. And take out those two. Painting time. Painting with my low resident low density. Got your view. Got all of you. Need to stretch my water system across a little bit longer. Pipes, please. Pipes, please. Like papers, but, you know, with pipes. Do not have enough money? Or oh, is it crossing another pipe? There we go. Come out with that. And the other final thing I need to do... Drag line to add stop. Tracked it to the wrong side of the road, that's fine. What a game is this? Yeah. Getting these things to be in vaguely sensible locations so that they're on the right side of the road is not a trivial task. So just drag you up a little bit. So yeah. Yep. Okay. So that's that yellow route's going to carry on weaving in and out of that, heading back to the bus station. You're going to carry on doing that. The orange route's going to do its stuff. The white route's going to carry on going around like that. And let's just briefly check how much of a clusterfuck we've got of traffic down here. Hmm. Still piled up. Um, I think it's time we upgraded that road. So that'll be the last thing we do today, ladies and gentlemen. So as I clicky clicky and upgrade this one way, so that's 
Okay, so while I upgrade this section of road to a slightly lower quality, so that I have just that a little bit more. City on that enormous great big road. Just double check I don't have any loose bus lines. And we're good. So hopefully everyone will get out the bloody bus lane. Start sorting themselves out. There is a temptation on my part, I think, to maybe look at making this network one way or at least maybe these two roads here one way I think I'll look at that next time thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen we've got an enormous residential demand our population is still growing you can still hear the dinging caused by the vast benefits of having our enormous university going in so Thank you very much for watching. I've been the Marmoset. This has been City Skylines. I hope to see you next time. Please remember to like and subscribe.